Hi, today is March 8th, Sunday, and um, I got a lot of confirmational things that I have received um, yes, last night and um, today. Um, as I'm going to state, I do not know the day or hour. This is not meant to be a complete prediction. This is just confirmation that I've received as an encouragement to keep people watching, to keep people waiting. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm going to read you lots of amazing things. So a friend of mine, I'm not mentioning any names on here, okay, um, sent me, him and I messaging back and forth, and then Carly and I messaging back and forth. And uh, said, something strange is happening on my messenger right now, which gave me chills. And I said, what was that? I noticed in my messenger that this is unknown. This is unknown. I don't remember adding this friend on Facebook, and it had an Israel name. And I said, "Oh my!" Right? And this person messaged him and says, "Hello. I just want to ask you: Are you from Israel?" Or that's what he said. And they said, "My husband and I are living and serving the Lord in the U.S. right now. God bless you. We are both Filipino." Okay, which was weird. Well, I looked up the name, and I thought I had all these in order. The name, the name meant Brother of the Exalted One, okay? And then a conversation kept going, and I said, have you been hacked? And he said, no, but then this is what appeared on my Facebook. I'm talking about this conversation went on for over an hour. Bam, 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 bam. And it said, the purr, purr, slash Jesus Christ the lion. The purr, as in Purim. Or should I say the purr, as in a lion, which is only second to the largest cats in the feline family as Jesus is the second in the Holy Trinity. The lion is known as the king of the jungle as Jesus is known as the lion of the tribe of Judah, Revelations 5, 5, and the king of kings, Revelation 19, 16. And what's crazy is on the second I was led um, to quit my job um, instead of the 15th. And I'm, I couldn't understand. I said, what is, Why? I kid you not, the very next day on the news, there was a coronavirus hit in my area where I was working at, um, in the West Lafayette area. But they're keeping it hush-hush, as they said that um, that was a negative. But there was 12 others in the state of Indiana right now, um, one in which um, two tested positive for the coronavirus. So I believe that is why God pulled me out when he did, um, as I said, that he's been really speaking to me and telling me um, to leave, and I did, and today, I actually had a gentleman come over, his name's John, and he um, said that I've been having anxiety attacks and everything, well, I ended up telling him about that, you know, how God led me uh, all the way up to quit my job, about the ambulance, my panic attack, my anxiety, da 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 and he said, you just gave me the answer, and he just stopped talking, he literally said, you you are the reason. You are the answer. I just got the answer from God what I needed. And he left. And I was like, wow. Okay. So, this is what I'm talking about. God called me out of my job to finish bringing in the harvest because we're ready to leave. Okay. Continuing on, it said, okay, that tomorrow possibly our blessed hope. That's the word, hope. Even if you don't, my hope is in you alone. Amen. This is strange. There's another profile name written in Israel, um, in the Israel language. Then after he messaged me, he instantly blocked me, which was weird. But the message he sent him was, Grace and peace be with you from God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are doing great. Remember, no fear. Trust God. And then we ended up conversating um as well that there uh as of tomorrow is 40 days from january 28th when the peace plan is okay and it's funny because uh there was peace in purim as well uh when esther um saved her people so um then this popped up from di di tri di tri dam tri di 
Ditranium, I can't even pronounce it, D-I-T-R-I-A-N-U-M, his channel, and there was um, a YouTube video, okay, and this was all sent to me, like I said, a YouTube video, checking it out, and it says they're on the 8th, which is today, at 518, Venus, Mercury, and Mars uh, were in alignment, and then it was the Earth, the Sun, and Neptune at 1226, the Earth, the Venus, and Saturn at 1937 on the ninth which is tomorrow we've got venus the um venus the sun and saturn at 1324 which would be about 124 i'd say uh on and then on the 12th we got mercury the sun uranus at 1620 and there was a major earthquake warn warning um as an eight point plus but what i was shown um uh, before Jesus comes, there's going to be a seven point six and a nine, or a seven, yeah, a seven point, a six point seven and a nine point six earthquake. Um, so this very well could be because the alignment of the planets, um, causing shifts out of our atmosphere and, um, this causing all things to go out of whack. So then our conversation keeps going, and um, then all of a sudden he sends. Um, somebody on Facebook says, we're ready to fly. They had their bags packed. We're ready to fly. All excited about it. More confirmation. And then what pops up is, has anybody been having dreams of the economical collapses? Of course, I have. And then something weird on his friend's Facebook was, I'm coming home now. Oh, I'm coming home. And these were by two different people, same time, same day. All this happened yesterday, okay? That's what I'm saying. It's just constant flow of confirmation. Okay, keep it going. And it says, um, then it said, sorry, um, right here in the midst of this, what had happened. All right, I was sitting in my living room. I kid you not. And I was sitting on my recliner chair, and to my left, I saw a shadow. What a shadow! It looked like smoke. It just went like that in my house, and it gave me the chills from head to toe, like Holy Spirit chills, like oh my gosh! And um, I thought I was seeing things, but I wasn't because I had confirmation. Um, it was a spirit, um, which I believed was an angel or the Holy Spirit coming through. To give me more confirmation, okay? And I got a text from my sister. And it says, God is so, so good right now. When you ask him for something, it's amazing. So a day or so ago, I asked God to show me when you're coming for us. And to not be leaving me behind. And I prayed, begging him not to leave me. And at the dealer today, as she got her brand new car, a random guy came up to me. And we started talking, saying, "God, Jesus is coming. God is coming. I believe in Jesus. He's coming. Mary, I'm going home with you all. Oh my gosh, I've never been so excited in all my life. Now I know for sure I'm saved and going home. God is good. Wow. Okay, she got... Now, this is what's crazy, okay? My sister's 19, okay? She's a single mom of a... September, October, November, December, January, February, March. He's almost six months old, my nephew. Um... And his dad's name is Angel and wants nothing to do with the child. They were supposed to have court the 4th, but it was postponed till get this date, April 15th. And what's crazy is there have been talks about the collapse hitting around that time and all shipments be completely done and supplies being no more as of April 15th, okay? Um... I, like I said, I don't know what's all true. It's just these dates and these this confirmation coming in is very big. Um, and so, and she said, I believe that this was God's way of pulling him out because we're getting ready to go home. Um, because he's not going to step up and be a father anyway. And actually, I agree with that. Okay, and we know that the financial collapse is coming. And she just got approved for a brand new 2018 car. I mean, come on. So... Some might think this is just naysay, but it's it's not, okay? Um, and then I, he said, okay, this is getting weird now. Okay, this was all at the exact same time, okay? Immediately after I saw the spirit, whatever, 
and got the chills, I got that text message immediately. And then immediately after that, I got another message and it said, um, now this is getting really weird. Okay. Um, it says on the March 8th of 2017, which is three years ago in him alone. Okay. And so, and then this was sent. Sorry. Okay. The name is Gabriel. Okay. This was posted today and was sent to me through our conversation as well. A Brazilian woman dreamt that the rapture was the 10th of March. And a Brazilian man said that he had a dream in January where a man told him there were two supermoons before the coming of the Son of Man. There was a supermoon in February, and the next one is the 9th of March. So many people say that the rapture is soon. This must be it. I just, I don't think, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe God is a God of order, and God does things exactly on time as he says he's going to. Now, um... We know that Purim is tomorrow. We see a massive moon, the worm moon. Um, and I've done a study a few years ago on March, um, which has a lot to do with the red dusty planet and just lots of things. But the song that's been in my mind over and over is, Oh, when the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, oh, I'd love to see that number. When the saints go marching in. Those saints are us. Okay? And remember when he uh, Daniel fell upon his face, he seen tens and thousands upon thousands, or was it John? Thousands upon thousands. Tens of thousands of angels. Okay? Um, I mean, I'm just saying that song just resonates in my spirit about us being those saints that's marching in. Um, and I do not know the day or hour, but I know that... Um, there's a lot that is going on and Mike Pence just met with the guy, shook hands and, um, that guy has, it's been talks that he's got the coronavirus. He's been tested positive for it. So we shall wait and see. But, uh, my point, the financial collapse is coming and from the 9th to the 12th is high major watch time of the, um, uh, earthquake which very well could be the one we've all been waiting on to go home. And it could also be, um, as Colleen Minters has said, um, that something major is going to happen that day. And I truly believe it. I mean, I've had confirmation. I mean, this isn't coincidence. All these conversations, all these this stuff over and over. All of us watchmen are in one sink right now. And... Um, so one last thing I want to say is I had a dream um, the other night, and which I want to read it to you real quick because I haven't been having dreams lately, but it definitely resonates with now. This is the day that the vaccine came out. Or that, okay, I had this dream, and then a few hours later is when I got the confirmation, not confirmation, I, I seen on the news that there was the coronavirus over by where I was working. All right, so um, I was in the building and it was all glass, uh, but it was white on the inside and it was springtime and I had seen that I was um, being spotted, okay? I could see out, but they could not see in. It, there was a car lot or something and there was one car that was parked in particular that was red and this man gets out. Okay, he looked pale, ill, kind of like he was zombified. But um, the thing is, there was a bunch of cars that were parked around, and but they were just sitting in there. But this one car resonated, he, and he comes and tries unlocking. He's jiggling the door handle, and he was trying to get in. And I walked to the door and unlocked it, and as I opened the door, he tried grabbing me. And I shut the door hard and locked it. And I saw that the people in their cars started getting out and surrounding the place. And I could see everything outside, but they couldn't see in. My kids were next to me, and I said, they're after us. So we ran to a hidden tunnel, okay, and my husband was actually with us too. And I saw a black shot needle thing, and it was an ejection of some type. And then I woke up, and I was led, okay, as confirmation of that this vaccine cure 
quote unquote, that is coming that the Antichrist um, is going to have is going to be a forced vaccination, which is the forced mark of the beast. Okay, you can't buy, sell, or trade without it because if you're not vaccinated, then you're not going to be able there, you're considered unclean and contaminated. Okay, this is what I've been led, and I've had many, many, many virus streams. Um, and I mean, I mean, I could, t I could go on and on and on. I've had dream after dream after dream after dream. Um, like on 4-7 of 2018, um, I was around this group of bad people in an all-white building, and there was this drone spraying chemicals in our faces, and I was sprayed and saw many got ill and even died, and I rebuked it. When I saw it, it came back, and it was green and white, and it tried to spray me. Nothing came out. So I was able to grab it and reverse it to hurt the men behind doing so, so they begged me not to do it, and then I woke up as I was pressed up against the wall. And this confirms Carly's dream when she had a dream that the virus was green. Um, I mean, I've had so many dreams and I've printed them off. I just, I don't have time to read them all, but I mean, Jesus is coming. Stay alert, be watching, be waiting. It could be tonight, it could be tomorrow. It could be any day from now, but it's coming and it's coming fast. So be ready. And God bless, and I hope this encouraged you. Still keep looking, and don't lose your faith, or don't think that Jesus isn't coming because he's not coming when we think he's coming. He's going to be here, okay? And another thing, I, I was sitting out my window just a little while ago for watching the sunset, and it was like not dark dark, but it was dark enough to where I had to use my flash on my phone. And uh, my window was closed, and I'm looking out there, and I just said, God, please give me confirmation. Give me something that your return is any time. Like, Purim, whatever. I kid you not, I saw this animal run across the road into my yard, and I thought it was my dog, because I've got a miniature Dotson. Um, and so I call her, I opened up the window, and I said, Carly, come here. And I'm listening, go like that. Didn't come. Well, then I was looking, and I focused, and the thing stood up, and it was a rabbit. And it started hopping my way. And I, I was just like, oh, my gosh. I said, stay there, stay there. So I turned around to grab my phone to take a picture, and the thing disappeared. There's no way. It must have been God planting it there or something. I don't know if that means we're leaving by Passover or that means I'm not going to pass over you anymore. I just know that something is coming, something major, and we need to be on guard, and we need to be prayerful. Um and then one last thing is my son yesterday, he was in, you know, distraught and he's 10 and he threatened, you know, to kill himself. And that's something that I never dreamt in a million years I'd ever hear my kids say. And, you know, crying and everything. I talked to him about God, about how to, you know, give it to him and everything, um, you know, and, and, you know, I'm bawling, of course, because... I'm, I can't picture myself without my kids. They're my babies. They're my world. And I'm hugging him, and I'm just crying. And I looked at him, and I said, you know, if you ever acted on this, I said, this right here will never stop. And he started crying. He goes, I know. And I said, promise if you ever feel like that again, you're going to talk to me, and you're going to talk to God. He says, I promise, Mommy. So the enemy is coming after children, and we need to be prayed up, like hardcore, more than we ever have been, and we need to lift one another up. Right now, I'm actually starting to run a fever again. Um, I'm, my throat is really swollen. I'm not feeling the greatest, and I just, it's the enemy wearing the saints down, but we are stronger than the enemy because where two or more are gathered there together in the midst, there God be in the midst, okay? Where two or more are gathered in his name, there he be in the midst. So, Jesus is coming. But, in the meantime, we need to be bold. Get out there. Tell people what Jesus is showing you. Show people what Jesus is showing you inside. Love one another. Be there for one another. Comfort one another. Okay? And I just had family members I had to weed out of my life. Because they were just complete toxic. And... I, f I feel an overwhelming peace I've never had before, and I know it's because we're leaving. So um, 
I will see you there in the air.